What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing some more Minecraft Hardcore. This is episode 8 of the series. I don't exactly know what we're going to do today, but you guys probably know it because the title probably says it already. Today I want to start expanding my base more this way because right now my base is pretty small and tiny and I want to build some more things this way. Here first I'm going to go to bed though because, I don't know, it's kind of dark out and it's kind of annoying. There are monsters nearby. Are you joking? Where are they bro? I gotta go find these guys. Where are the monsters at? I do not see any of them. Where are the mon- I hear- I hear a spider. Where is it? Is the spider in here like last time? Pretty sure there was like a skeleton or something down here that was like messing me up. Have I not explored this cave? It's like directly underneath my base. I don't think I've explored it. Well, I don't think he is down here, so I gotta get out of here. Okay, I honestly have no idea where he is. I'm just gonna try going back to see if I can sleep. Okay, now it's actually day and we can start looking over here to see what we're gonna be doing today. So I did- oh, there's a villager. Where are your llamas at? I did expand this uh, sugarcane farm a little bit. Oh, it's almost about to be harvested. If any of these grow right here, it's gonna harvest. Uh, yeah, we have a good amount of sugarcane now. So we have good amount of sugarcane, good amount of gunpowder from my huge creeper farm we built last episode, and we're looking good on the fireworks. Oh, right, that one just literally grew in front of my eyes. Okay, well, let's see what this guy has to trade. Gunpowder- oh, jungle saplings. That's actually kind of useful. I am gonna go grab some emeralds, because I don't think we have jungle trees anywhere near us. Alright, let's see how much emeralds we have. We have- oh, we have a lot. 21 blocks, and also that, so I'll just buy- I need five emeralds. I just need one sapling, pretty much. Oh, wait, I need- did he- wait, what is this? Did, did the- did his llamas die? Why, do, why is there just a lead here? Okay, well, anyway, I need 25 emeralds, actually. I'm just gonna grab the whole stack. Because, uh, I need to buy- f wait. 20- I need 20. My math is terrible. I need 20 emeralds because I need to buy four saplings so I can plant one of the trees. Okay, come here, villager. There we go, four jungle saplings. So now we can actually have jungle trees, which is a great thing to have here. So right now we have birch, oak, and also back here I think we have spruce at our old house. Yep, there's spruce right there. So now we just need acacia and... I forgot. I forgot what else we need, but... We need acacia. Oh, dark oak as well. But I'm pretty sure there's a dark oak forest somewhere near our house, so I think we're chilling. Okay, so we're gonna need more emeralds because... I don't know, emeralds are really important, and also I need to get like... I gotta trade with more villagers, because villager trading is super, super important. Usually when I do Minecraft worlds, I try to get villager trading as soon as possible, but this world I've just been kinda lazy, and I've been focusing on other things that are more fun. But yeah, we really need to get some villager trading in here soon, like a villager trading station or something, like built over here. But what I was thinking for today was I wanna like... I wanna start a sheep farm, like a multicolor sheep farm. I want to try to collect like every single color of sheep because I don't know sheep's wool you can build a lot of cool things out of it since it's like unlimited possibilities because it has tons of different shades of colors and all that. I'm not exactly sure where I want to build it. I could build it here but honestly this kind of this part is kind of ugly. I might actually build it like connected to my old base or like I guess this is still my base. I need to make a new base dude. This is like such a small base. Since there's like a pathway here I might make like another pathway going this way like above me like this. I could have like, I could have it come out over here, like, I could break these windows. There, and I could have like a door here, and it could just be leading out to another like, walkway. That would actually look kinda cool, and then I could probably build the sheep farm on like a huge platform, cause you don't really need much for a sheep farm. Oh, I've been saying sheep farm this whole time, I meant wool farm, not sheep farm. I don't know, I can't really make an auto sheep farm, but I can make an auto wool farm, it's really simple too. Okay, I literally have, I have four sheep right here, so I'm gonna have to start breeding these to make a lot more. Let's check out our wheat. Uh, it's definitely gonna be fully grown. I haven't been in this farm in literally ages. Yeah, everything- Oh! No, 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 that's a creeper. That's a creeper. Get me out of here, get me out of here. That scared me, dude. No, no, no. Okay, I gotta get my bow out. Maybe that was the creeper that was keeping me up last night. I gotta kill this dude. That was- That was a close call. If he exploded, like, the whole, like, underside of my base, I bet the flooring would've went out. My farm would've been, like, gone. So, that was kind of clutch. Really scary. Alright, I'm gonna quickly just harvest all these. Alright, this is looking good. Next up, I'm just gonna harvest up some of these pumpkins. Oh, wow, this breaks them really fast. Is this efficiency 4? Oh, yeah, it's efficiency 4. I should probably get, like, mending or something on this, or unbreaking. Next up, I'm gonna harvest up these potatoes. And also these carrots. There we go, fully replanted everything. I haven't really like harvested this farm in ages, so that was actually kind of satisfying. Now I'm gonna take this wheat and I am gonna go 
breed up all the sheep that I have right now. There we go. Since I'm here, I might as well just breed up these cows as well. I haven't touched these guys in a long time. Now I just gotta dump all this stuff back into my chests. Alright, let's see. So this house is made out of birch, oak, and some oak fences. And some oak logs. So I'm just gonna grab all those materials right now. How is it getting dark already? I swear this day just started. Alright, um, these, like, armor stands have been sitting, like, in this house for so long, and I'm- Oh, wait, does that- That might have, like, taken some damage. Oh, okay, the armor doesn't take damage. I got scared when I saw the fire. Because these have been sitting here for so long, and they, like, do nothing. So I'm just gonna remove them. And they don't look too good, either. Did I get everything? Uh, I think I did. Where are my armor stands? Did the armor stands break when I lit them on fire? Is that actually a thing? Maybe that is. Well, I mean, armor stands aren't that much of a deal, so it's okay. I'm just gonna throw these armor pieces back inside of this chest over here. Okay, so when we walk upstairs, uh, we got this huge window right here. I think I'm just gonna take this out entirely, and I'll just add, like, an archway, so this can be, like, another entrance kind of thing to our walkway. It's gonna go that way. And then our sheep farm, I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I just wanna add this walkway. I think it'll look really cool. So I'm gonna start off with some oak slabs here. I'm kind of just going from the top of my head, just like, randomly building something. I guess I can kind of copy that walkway, so that has... I don't know what it has, let me go closer. Okay, so it has like, birch on the outside, and then a row of oak on the inside, let's try that. Alright, this is what I got so far, let's see what this looks like. This is kind of like a balcony, actually, when I'm thinking about it. Wait, here, I'm gonna break this, because I don't like the two birches, so I'm just gonna break that and then replace it with oak slabs. There we go, it looks a bit better. So now when we walk outside, we just have like a little balcony here. And I'm just gonna make this go all the way over there, and then we can just start extending stuff. Alright, so here's like a little update of what I've done so far. Oh, there's a spider there. Get out of the way, buddy. I just realized I haven't really gotten much XP in the past, like, 100 days, really. I haven't really- I've just been focusing on, like, building and stuff instead of just grinding out, like, my gear. Alright, well, anyway, this is kind of the update that I have so far. So, you can see these, like, four pillars right here. I also added some beams right there. If we go upstairs... Here is the main entrance you can go to, to get to the balcony, and then also, there's another way, right here, there's a little door here you can walk through, and you can also get to the balcony. So I'm not really sure what I, exactly what I'm gonna do, I was thinking I was gonna build the sheep farm up here, or like the wool farm, but it's kind of a weird place to build it, because it's gonna look like unnatural, I don't, I'm not really sure, I'm just gonna play around and see what looks good, but this is what I have so far, and let's just fly out and see what it looks like from a distance. So, like, I actually think it looks pretty good, and especially this, like, oh, come on, get there. There we go. Especially this, like, front door. I've actually learned this from, I watched Mythical Sausage, and he, like, does a lot of building tutorials, and I took this kind of door design from him. You put, like, the upside down stair facing outward, and then, like, a backwards door, and also a pane on top of that. And I think it looks really nice right here, and it just fits perfectly. Also, I might add, like, a torch there. There we go. That looks pretty nice. Okay, so I made a small little adjustment right here. You can barely notice it, but it's like an overhang. I just added some, what's it called? Spruce trap doors right there, and then I just added more stairs right there to make kind of like an overhang. It looks pretty cool from the top and on the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna need to build this wool farm. So I'm gonna need some observers. I'm gonna need some redstone. Uh, I don't know where that is. Oh, there's some redstone. I really need to clean out my inventory. I'm also gonna grab some glass. I'm gonna need to smelt some more. Oh, I need, yeah, I definitely need more glass. I have 16. Uh, I think I had- hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure I had like a super smelter, kind of- not really a super smelter, it was like a mini smelter. Back at the village. I haven't really been to this village in a while. But yeah, right here. There's like a kind of mini double fern- oh, whoa! I don't remember being there this much glass. I think the reason we had this glass thing here was because there was a villager who wanted to trade, uh, glass panes for emeralds. So I'm just gonna grab, like, all those and bring them back to the base. Alright, another thing we're gonna need is dispensers, and dispensers need, uh, bows, I'm pretty sure, so... I'm gonna need to find some string. I don't know if I have that much. I only have 26 string, but that honestly should be enough, because it's only 3 string per bow. I'm gonna grab some of the sticks, and I kind of forgot what else I need, to be honest. Alright, yeah, I should probably- I'm gonna clean out my inventory first, I gotta get rid of all this wood stuff. Oh, and also, for now, I'm just gonna plant these, uh, jungle saplings somewhere. Um, let's see. Actually, here, hold on. I'm gonna plant them nearby our old house. Cause I don't really want it to be clustered around our, like our new area. So I'll just plant it right here next to my spruce tree. Right here. There we go. So now we should have a jungle tree grow right there. Okay, so I think I found a pretty good area to build this. It's like next to the fountain, but like over here. There's a bunch of open space over here and I don't really need it. So I think I can just build the wool farm right over here. 
And this will also be perfect because I need to extend this path somewhere, like the path on this side actually extends that way to go to the back of the house, so I can add a path over here as well to extend this way. This could be like a center of everything because then I can also have a path this way going back to our old base. So this is gonna be a kind of a cool spot. Okay, now it's the next day, so it's actually bright outside, so we can see. I cleared out a little path right here. Okay, I cleared out a little path right here with my shovel, and... So I'm just be building the wool farm, like, right around here. Like, right next to this path. I'm gonna have to clear out all these trees as well, which is gonna be kind of annoying. Alright, so this is kind of the design that I have for this wool farm. And it's kind of complicated, but it's really small and looks nice, so I think it kind of works out well. So right now we have our dispenser, we have our observer, and whenever the observer goes on, It'll activate this redstone thing and then activate the dispenser so that it can shear the sheep. And the observer will detect whenever the sheep eats the grass. And when, it, when the sheep eats the grass, uh, the sheep grows wool so that it'll, it'll shear it. Alright, so next uh, I have a hopper and also a barrel that I'm going to be using to collect all the wool. I'm going to place this minecart on top of the rail, see if I can break this rail. There we go, that actually took a while. So now um, I broke the rail off from the bottom. Next up, this part's going to be kind of annoying, but you're going to need a piston. Here, hold on, I gotta get to a better angle. Alright, so you're gonna want a redstone block right there, and then a piston directly underneath it. And when you place the piston, it's gonna push this block down into this uh, minecart. And since there's no rail there, it should work. There we go, we can now break the piston and also the redstone block. Now we have a minecart with a hopper stuck inside the grass block. So now when I throw something on top of that grass block, it should go into this barrel. There we go. Now I got one piece of wool right here, I'm putting that wool on top of the barrel. And then I need to get some more stained white glass to finish this off. Alright, now I'm gonna need to grab my fishing rod. Should be in here. I have no idea where my fishing rod is. I guess I'll just have to make another one. Alright, now that I got my fishing rod, I'm gonna try to land on top of this tree. There we go. And I'm gonna try to fish out one of my sheep from the pen. No, no, I just got him. Come back, please. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I've almost used half the durability on this thing, jeez. I guess when you pull things, it really kills the durability. Oh, there we go, I finally got him, okay. Now I'll pull out the wheat so he'll actually follow me. And there we go. My fishing rod almost broke too, so that was actually kind of perfect. Alright, now I just need to push him inside of here. Alright, there we go, I finally got him in, and I'll replace that with stained later, I'm just too lazy to go make some more. And now all I have to do is fill this thing back here with shears, and then it should start working. I'm just gonna grab some iron, and craft these into shears. I'll place some of these shears in there, and now all I have to do is just update the block, so whenever he eats that block, it should shear him, and then the cycle should just continue, and then we should be good. Okay, so I actually changed my mind that I want to make this thing red instead of white, because since we're doing a rainbow colorway, I want to start off with red. So it's gonna be pretty simple to do that, I just removed the redstone piece in the back so it wouldn't just keep on shearing him. Because it's already, it's already been going and we have 8 white wool in there. So all I'm gonna do is just change him over to red and then I got some more red stained glass, so... I'm just gonna be replacing all these with red. Alright, oh. Almost just messed it up. Alright, perfect amount of red uh, glass. I need to replace this with red now as well, and we have 2 in there, so that's perfect. As you can see, this is moving on real fast, so all he has to do is just eat that piece of grass and he's gonna get sheared instantly. So there we go, I think we're chilling with this. Now I just gotta keep on expanding this and adding more colors. Alright, so now I just added an orange one and a yellow one. The orange and yellow were really easy to make because red was easy to find, there were roses everywhere. Yellow was also easy because there were dandelions everywhere. And I just combined the red and yellow and made the orange. So now we got red, orange, and yellow. Oh, that's perfect because I actually needed a yellow wool right in the front to display. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Alright, there we go, now it's actually fully done. So we got some orange wool some red wool and also some yellow wool so this is all that i'm gonna do for today because this video has already been long enough this is probably the longest episode i've had yet but it's been tons of fun so i hope you guys enjoyed it all right and to end off this video this video's comment shout out goes to ron coffee i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong but it's on the screen right now and i think i'm gonna put you next to our little sheep farm over here because this is what we kind of did this episode this was like the main part of the episode i guess you could say i'm gonna put him up on the sign right here all right there you go you are now on our sign for episode 8. So I'm going to move away from these guys actually really quick because those sheep noises are pretty annoying. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode, I'd say. We did a lot in this episode. It's probably one of the longest ones I've ever made. And yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.